ramay-ramay <laughs> from Santa Catalina Negros Oriental and uh, I'm here to offer you a song kining a song kay this is the answer from God to all my questions nga nung feel ako before mura kong nag inusara nga nung daghan kong problema pero wala ko'y masultihan wala mura wala ko'y kuyog sa time nga da, nagdaghan akong panginahanglan wag na feel na po na ko nga ang tanan akong ka-expect nga mutabang ug mukuyog na miya na na and then I ask God why Lord nga nung mura na lang kung ako na lang usa and then the Lord answered me with this song bisaya ni siya anyway this is just a reminder from the Lord Maybe to some of you, na wala ka nag inosara. ng imong tapat. Sige, lingi ako, no? Wala ka kabaloon sa iya mga struggles. Siguro, dili na siya tigtugan o problema. Dili na siya tig-share. Isag mag-asawa mo, pero dili mo tig-istoryahan eh. Mag-asawa mo, pero dili mo friend. No? Kung naaman na diri, pwede na mo siyang pahinamduman. Tingna. Basi na limo ka. 
Tumaan, kantahin siya. Huwag ka naging sarap. Lingian ang someone niya, ang amurag, naging sarap siya ba? Basili mo ka. Ingon si Lord ni mo. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now and I pray and lift up to you those that are in need of your presence, that are in need of the miracle, in need of a breakthrough over their lives and that they are feeling desperate, they're feeling abandoned, they're feeling all by themselves. Your word has already declared that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Your promise has already been declared that you're faithful and that you will not abandon your people so Lord I pray for those that are in need of your presence Lord touch them in the name of the Father the Son and of the Holy Spirit Lord allow them to see feel experience what it is to have Jesus what it is of the Holy Spirit ministering at the very heart that they have right now and Lord I lift them up to you knowing that you will not abandon you will not leave them by themselves even they walk in the shadow of the valley of death they will fear no evil for you are with them you are with us God have your way right now Holy Spirit minister in your own special way for you know the condition of your people we're not here to be religious we're here because we want to know you experience you and literally reach out to the very promise that you have said that will not return to you empty or will not return to you void we trust God even right now as we pray that the answer the assurance that everything will be okay is being sent deep down in their hearts and they will have the rest in their hearts, the peace in their mind that transcends all understanding. Indeed, you are our good God. 
Sige, tumot sa akin. Basin, nalimot ka. Let's give God all the glory and the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know, when God would like to speak to you and at you, open up your hearts. Don't, don't come like, you know, I know these things. We don't know things. We just need God to minister and allow Him to move us and bring us to the place where He really would like us to be. And enjoy Him. God is a Father, and He's a good one. It's a good dad. If you have, you know, you haven't had a good father over your life, don't compare your dad to our father in heaven. Because our God in heaven loves you. Loves you deeply. And he really would like to make you realize that nothing has been hidden in his sight. God is here. And everyone said, Close your eyes, please, and just meditate on these thoughts. I just felt like God is not yet done ministering. You're here this morning, and you have a need for God. You haven't really surrendered your life to God. You know Jesus. You probably have known Him more than anyone else, but there is an emptiness in your life. There's a longing that really needed to be filled up, and only God can fill it. No thoughts, no money, no friendship can replace that vacuum that you have right now. And the Lord is now me meeting you. You're not here because of an accident. You're here for a reason that God has set up. If you're that person, I'd like you to stand up. Bold enough to say, God, I have a need of you right now. Just stand up. There's a longing in your heart. You wanted God to satisfy you. Just stand up. Don't look around. It's not about them. It's not about who's around you. It's about you and God having this moment. You know, God is singling you out. He really wants it to meet you right now. So if that is you, just stand up, be bold. Don't be shy. Jesus was bold enough to stand, bold enough to be crucified because he knew this is the way he can send his love to the people. If that's you, just stand up. I'd like to pray for you especially. And that the Lord will meet you right now. You're not going home the same way you have come. God will change you. And God will prove to you how faithful our God is. If that is you, I'm not going to force anyone. But if that is you, I just would like to make sure. And that you're not going to miss the opportunity of putting God at this moment. That God is ministering and moving and really touching hearts. If that is you, just stand up. Thank you for those. Who else? Just stand up. Don't be shy. Just stand up. You know you need God. There's something that God needs to do for you. And you are, you know, within you there's a fight. There's just craziness going on. Who else? I know we don't do this most of the time, but when God does this, we want to make sure we do what God would like to do. Anyone else? Thank you. Anyone else? You need God to make and bring a miracle over your life. I'm about to pray. If you're that person, please don't miss the way. Don't miss the mark. Just stand up. Let God single you out right now. Thank you. Anyone else? There's still people standing. We don't want you to miss God. This is His moment for you. While you're still contemplating, I want Sean to sing it one more time. Basin, nalimut ka. 
Yes, let this minister. Jesus, I know this is a special moment in my life. I ask you, supernaturally, minister in a very special way. That I would not just be thinking about this, but I will experience what it is to have Jesus meeting me at this moment of my life I ask you Holy Spirit bring your comfort bring your guidance remind me of the things you fought me and now I open my heart to you Lord over my life and have your way because today I am surrendering my body, my soul, and my spirit for you, oh my God. I thank you for your love that goes beyond what I have done against you. And thank you for the forgiveness that you have allowed me to experience. Thank you, Lord, for meeting me today. I know my God will show His favor, His miracle over my life. But I pray for all of these men and women standing. I don't know their predicaments, but I know you know. And nothing is impossible with you. You will make things happen. And they themselves will attest of the reality and the goodness of God. That you are faithful in all of the promises, promises you have made. Father, I lift them up to you right now and thankful that you have done this in a special way. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Let's give God a wonderful hand. Praise God. You may be seated. I just like to take this moment, if God has been ministering to you, there is a way God is doing things. And I'd like you to be sensitive about it because it's not an everyday thing. You know, when you sense, there's a move, there's a touch, there's a guidance, there's, there's a direction. And when God does that, make sure you don't miss God because He's here. And everyone said, one more time, give God a hand of praise and worship. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 